Hi guys and welcome back to A Series Gaming. So today I'm going to be doing a verse between the KV1 and the Churchill one. I don't actually have the Churchill one in my garage at the moment. I sold it about a week ago because I needed the money for other tanks, which was a bit of a shame. But I know all the stats, so I'm just going to run through them. So in the hit points, the Churchill is better by quite a few. I think it's about 70 points. Uh, so it's better, and it is better armoured than the KV-1. I will just get up the um, stats so you can look through them. Uh, oh, well, it doesn't work. Um, yeah, but for ramming, this tank weighs more and has more engine power behind it. So it will do more damage in a ram, which is a good thing. Because in some situations with this tank you need to ram. Um, I haven't got the best engine on this tank yet. As you can see. Because I've only just recently got this tank. But. Um, it can be upgraded. And this tank will reach about 30 kilometers an hour. On the straights. Which the Churchill can only do 20. And is very sluggishly slow. Uh, the maneuver of both of these tanks are very similar I think the Churchill one just wins by a little bit and um, now getting down to the gun so once fully upgraded on this tank you get a fantastic gun which is the 88mm gun it's slightly better penetration slightly better damage than the Churchill one's gun however the rate of fire is less and so is the accuracy but if you're going to get hit on a tank then this will do a lot more damage so it's a better gun round but if both of these tanks come into combat the Churchill one and the KV one uh, they both fire at the same time the Churchill one will win because it has more hit points than the KV one um, the turret traverse speed and the traverse speed of the actual tank is uh, quite slow because it's a big heavy tank. So you don't really want to be heading straight into tanks and then letting tanks, light tanks especially, get behind you like the AMX, ELC, because they will just flank you and you will not be able to turn your turret around fast enough to kill them. So you want to be heading on, make sure you're angling this tank head on towards your enemies so they can't penetrate you as easily and they won't be able to get around your sides. Um, the view range uh, is slightly worse than the Churchill which is 400 and the signal range is worse this can be upgraded to 440 meters but the Churchill wins because it has a 550 meter range um, so this tank is, I found more fun to drive than the Churchill one um, it is a little bit worse in battle but it's still a fantastic tank to buy um, how much? I think the um, the Churchill and the KV-1. I think the KV-1, yeah, the KV-1 was a bit cheaper to buy than the Churchill one. That costs uh, quite a lot. But this is an experience points. So the Churchill was cheaper in experience points compared to this but the purchase price is only about 60,000 more than the Churchill which isn't much so I hope you've enjoyed this review guys of both tanks comparing them and I will be uploading more videos hopefully sorry I haven't uploaded a video in a while I did get bored of World of Tanks and I just didn't really want to upload Please tell your friends about this channel as well because we haven't got many subscribers or views and we could really do with some more views. So thanks guys, hope you enjoyed this video 
and I'll see you in the next video.